everyone, it's Tammy, and it seems like it's been a long time since we've talked. Goodness gracious. I am on my way home. It is Tuesday, September 4th, I think. And yesterday was a holiday, and I spent my day knitting <laughs> and watching TV and listening to a book and organizing. It was great. It was actually a very productive day. I hope that you guys have had a good weekend and a nice holiday and I hope that this week finds you productive and happy and healthy and let's see I can kind of try to fill you in on what's going on in my life so um this thing I'd probably need to redo again because it seems like it is being crazy but um whew. It's hot, hot, hot here still. It's It was kind of cooler a little bit and then it got warmer. It says it's 98 degrees, so I don't believe it's really that hot, but that's what my car is registering at right now. Crazy. So I am not in the mood for a pumpkin spice latte. Well, I am always in the mood, but I'm not allowing myself to have a pumpkin spice latte until it is feeling like fall. So that's gonna have to wait for a while. Ugh, I wish not so long, but that's okay. You know, it's all right. I do make myself some pumpkin coffee sometimes at home, which is great, but it's not like the Starbucks pumpkin spice latte, but I'm not going to let myself get it too early because I like that it's only available for a certain time and I like that that means it's fall and it just feels good and right. And maybe I can wear a knitted something and do that. So yesterday I worked on, I'm working on a few things, So and I will do a podcast for my knitting sometime this week. I might do that on Thursdays, but I don't want to say that and then hold myself to it and not do it because I'd rather not have a date or a day and just have something in my head that, okay, usually I do it on Thursdays, but if it gets done a different day, that's okay. That might be how I'm looking at it. But anyway, I <laughs> made a Christmas stocking for my son and I am working really hard on the heel and I actually got the whole thing done yesterday but it is awful. I got the heel that looks good but there's like almost no toe. I mean it like goes like that. It's crazy and I might do a video of it and show me frogging it. Um, which just means ripping it out and the reason they call it frog is because you rip it rip it rip it get it so um, I may do that and do a video to show you guys but I don't know if I'm gonna do a video sometimes it's hard to do videos because I really want to just do it and you know it takes time to do the video although I love it I love to teach you guys and do it even at work someone told me that I sh I mean she follows me on Instagram I guess and if you guys want to keep up with some of my stuff, you should follow me, TT Scraps. But anyway, I um, she told me that I should teach a class for some of the people at work. And I would love to do that, but there's a part of me that wants to say, have you looked at my videos? You know, and I can't expect everybody to do that. But at the same time, I spend a lot of time showing, teaching via videos and all of that. And I understand that sometimes it's not as good as having an actual instructor or a teacher or whatever, but I am, I feel bad because I'm not like, I'm, I'm not an expert. So I can teach you what I know, but it's also probably worth the price you pay. So no, I mean, I don't know. It's better than nothing. And I think it's decent. I'm trying to show you the best I can. That's not what I'm, it's hard to explain what I'm talking about. I'm not putting myself down or anything. Don't take it like that. I just mean that I'm new at this and I'm watch one, do one, teach one. I think that's a great philosophy, but I'm not going to say I'm an expert at any of it. And there are experts out there and maybe not all on YouTube. And, but I mean, if you, I don't know. I feel like if you're asking me for a professional class that you're not going to get it or that you will get what you pay for because I'm not a professional. This isn't my day job, but I do love it and I have gotten better at it and I'm hopefully going to continue to get better. And yesterday I spent a lot of time, many, well, a few hours working in my, working in the upstairs room, um, 
cleaning that up and then getting some yarn organized and putting some shelving together for my yarn, like little cubby holes. And um, I have a lot of yarn. I need to stop buying stash and start using it. I have so many projects that I want to do and so many things that are just, I'm dying to make, but you can only make a little bit at a time. And then when you screw something up like the stocking, you have to start over again. It was a whole day of knitting wasted. And I really wanted something kind of easy yesterday, so I thought, I thought okay, I'm gonna do the stocking. And I'm not gonna say it was hard, but it took me a lot of times and trials trying to figure out the heel, which is fabulous. So now that I've got that down, now I have to work on the toe part because that was just crazy. I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know if I just should have kept going and I just didn't do enough. Or, I mean, the stocking was way too big too. So I just want to frog it all and start over again because it's not what I want. Um, might be what Alex wants because it was a stocking for him and it's huge, but it's not what I want. So yeah, I will redo. And then um, I've made Dennis's. So I did Dennis's, but I followed the instructions that they gave us in the sheet to do Dennis's, but I wasn't sure if I did it exactly right. And I knew that there had to be other heel options. And I didn't particularly care for the heel option that I did with Dennis's. It came with the, um, I got it on Craftsy and it came with the, with the kit but so that's why I wanted to find out a different heel so that's what I was doing and then I don't know I think in so doing so I I think the heel the way I did the heel made the heel bigger than it did with the original pattern and that's what made the toe kind of look ridiculous because I followed the toe pattern but because the heel was different it made the toe different so live and learn and I might just be able to well no that's not true I was gonna say I might just be able to go up to the heel and then not not frog the rest of it but I don't even like now that I've seen things and I'm learning things I don't even like how big the stocking is like wide wise it's just huge and it just looks kind of silly I would almost rather it be longer and thinner um, so I don't know I've just got to play with it so I'm probably going to frog that and then I'm also working on a sweater for Kitty, shh, don't tell her, but for Christmas, and um, I'm really liking it, but I wanted to work on something else, so that's when I started doing that yesterday, and I want to make a pair of slippers, and I'm just having a hard time following the pattern. I don't know what in the world it means, so I was like, gosh, maybe I'll just try to wing it a little bit, and I tried that, and I'm not, I'm not experienced enough to just wing it yet, so I might have to frog those, although those I didn't I didn't waste too much time just a few rows on one slipper so that's not a big deal to frog but huh, that's what I did yesterday and um, yeah everything else is going well it's I'm still adjusting to being a empty nester I my daughter actually came back on Sunday because she didn't have school yesterday either and her dad is moving and wanted some help painting so he said that he would I she said that she would help him so she came on Sunday and arrived in time for us to go to church together which was super sweet and great to see her so um, it only been a week since I'd seen her and being in Wisconsin last week I still haven't gotten the full effect of being a an empty nester so that's kind of weird but I, that's where I'm at. Um, I think that it'll get, it'll hit me here in the next couple or three weeks, I think. Um, but Katie seems to be doing well. She starts her student teaching today and she has a second grade and then a high school special ed class and then another second grade. So she has a half a day at second grade and then a half a day at high school and special ed and then she has on Thursday it's two other classes. So one of them is the same. I think it's the second grade, but then I think she has a sixth grade special ed or something. I don't remember exactly what she said, but she has a very busy semester this semester. So if you guys could keep her in your thoughts and prayers, I would greatly appreciate it. And then Alex too. I haven't even really heard much from him. He's adjusting, so that's good, but golly, I want to hear from the kid and it's driving me bananas. So 
um, I don't know, it's like you want it and then when you get it, you, you know, I don't know, it's bizarro. So, yeah. And Dennis is doing well. He's actually working late right now and hopefully he will be home in time for dinner. And I don't know what we're having. There's a part of me that wanted to um, have Salisbury steak. That sounds so good. So I'm actually going to head to Walmart right now and we have a little food place and I'm going to check out what I want to get for dinner. So I just wanted to chat and say hello and I won't um, be able to vlog in the morning because it is too dark. So unfortunately, I'll have to have afternoon vlogs and maybe I'll post this though so that you guys can see it tomorrow. And I will talk to you soon. Bye bye. Silly boy. He came over to lay on me. He has his little paws on me. Jamboni, are you so cute? Are you the cutest little baby boy? I'm working on my stocking. There he is. So handsome. And there's my other boy. And I don't know where the other one is. He was over here, but he's probably looking for food or sleeping somewhere. But I just thought this was so cute. I wanted to show you how sweet this Jamboni is. He's a good boy. Love you, gals.